In the vast, blue expanses of our planet's oceans, there are giants. Creatures so immense they seem to defy imagination, moving through the depths like living mountains. The biggest of them all, the blue whale, is a colossus so massive it appears untouchable, a peaceful titan that should be immune to the dangers of the sea. But in these same waters, a different kind of power reigns a power that is intelligent, strategic, and absolutely relentless. It's the largest animal on Earth, a creature so vast it seems like it can't be hunted. But for a family of killer whales, it's not a monster dot 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 it's a meal. So how does a part of predators, dwarfed by their prey, achieve the impossible? The answer is a stunning combination of brutal force and brilliant strategy. They are the undisputed apex predators of the sea, and we're about to witness the epic hunts where killer whales challenge the ocean's giants. To understand how an orca can take down an animal ten times its size, you have to understand who they are. Killer whales aren't actually whales at all. They're the largest species of dolphin, a fact that hints at their incredible intelligence. Their brain is the second largest among all ocean mammals, and they put it to good use. They are masters of strategy, communication, and social cooperation. An orca's true strength lies in its family the pod. These aren't just random groups hunting together. They are complex, multi-generational societies built around a single, powerful leader the matriarch. As the oldest and most experienced female, she is the living library of the pod's knowledge. She guides her family, which includes her son's daughters and their children, through the vast ocean, remembering the best hunting grounds and teaching the tactics passed down through generations. This is a culture of learning. Young orcas don't just have instincts, they are taught. They watch, they practice, and they master the specialized hunting techniques unique to their family. These methods are so specific that different pods in the same ocean have their own distinct diets and strategies, almost like different cultures. Some pods specialize in herding fish into tight bait balls. Others are mammal hunters, developing brutally efficient ways to take on seals, sea lions, and even other whales. It's this social structure and the ability to pass on knowledge that turns a part of orcas into the ocean's most formidable hunters. They are a thinking, coordinated unit, and when they set their sights on a target, they have generations of experience behind them. Picture a creature up to 100 feet long and weighing nearly 200 tons. The blue whale isn't just the largest animal alive. It's the largest animal known to have ever existed. Its heart is the size of a small car, and its tongue alone can weigh as much as an elephant. For decades, scientists believed a healthy adult blue whale had no natural predators. It was simply too big to kill. That all changed off the coast of Australia. Between 2019 and 2021, researchers documented something they thought was impossible. For the first time, pods of killer whales were observed launching organized, sustained, and successful hunts on adult blue whales. These weren't quick ambushes. They were long, grueling battles of attrition that showcased the orca's incredible stamina and unwavering determination. The strategy was a masterclass in teamwork. The pods, often led by the females, would launch a coordinated assault. The hunt would begin with a relentless chase, sometimes lasting for hours, designed to exhaust the colossal whale. Working in teams, the orcas would relentlessly ram the whale's body and bite at its fins and tail to slow it down. Their goal was to keep it from diving deep to escape and to simply wear it out. As the blue whale weakened, the attack would intensify. 
the orcas would launch themselves onto the whale's back, strategically blocking its blowhole to prevent it from breathing. In a display of brutal intelligence, some orcas would even force their way into the whale's mouth, targeting its massive, nutrient-rich tongue, often before the giant was even dead. Once the titan finally fell, an incredible social ritual would unfold. As the massive caucus was consumed, up to 50 other orcas would arrive, all sharing in the feast. It was a communal event that reinforced the bonds of this powerful society. These landmark observations rewrote our understanding of the ocean's power dynamics and proved that for the world's most intelligent predator, nothing is off limits. The sheer brilliance and brutality of these hunts are a testament to the raw power of nature. If you find these stories as fascinating as we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join us as we continue to explore the world's most incredible wildlife. It isn't just the ocean's largest mammals that have to fear the black and white hunters. In Mexico's Gulf of California, a unique part of orcas has developed a highly specialized and chillingly effective strategy for hunting the world's largest fish, the whale shark. Whale sharks are gentle giants, filter feeders that can grow up to 60 feet long. Their main defense is their immense size and their ability to dive into the crushing pressure of the deep, far beyond where most predators can follow. But one particular part, including a frequently observed male named Moctezuma, has figured out how to turn the whale shark's biology against it. The hunt, documented in detail between 2018 and 2024, is a display of pure tactical genius. The pod works together to stop the whale shark from diving. They ram its sides at high speed to stun it and force it toward the surface. Then, they execute their signature move. With coordinated effort, they push and bite at the shark's fins, flipping the massive fish completely upside down. When a shark is flipped onto its back, it enters a temporary state of paralysis known as tonic immobility. It can no longer move, fight, or dive to escape. It is utterly helpless. With the whale shark immobilized, the orcas can take their time. They bypass the thick, protective skin and target a specific weak point, the soft underside near the pelvic fins. Their goal is to access the whale shark's most prized organ, its enormous, lipid-rich liver. This organ is a massive source of high-energy fat, the perfect reward for such a calculated and difficult hunt. This isn't just predation, it's a surgical strike built on an incredible understanding of their prey's anatomy. It's easy to watch these events and see only the brutality. The raw, violent reality of a hunt isn't for the faint of heart. But to write it off as simple savagery is to miss the point. What we're witnessing isn't cruelty, it's survival elevated to an art form. It's the pinnacle of predatory evolution of brutal brilliance that defines the orca's place at the very top of the food chain. These hunts are born of necessity and intelligence, not malice. Hunting the largest animals in the ocean is a high-risk, high-reward game. A single blue whale or whale shark can feed a part for an extended period, providing essential, high-energy nutrients like fat and all that are vital for survival. The liver of a shark, in particular, is one of the most calorie-dense meals the ocean has to offer. These epic hunts also serve a crucial social purpose. They are complex, cooperative efforts that require intricate communication and teamwork, reinforcing the powerful social bonds that hold the part together. They are also live training sessions, where younger generations learn the critical survival skills that have been perfected over time. 
As apex predators, orcas are essential for maintaining the balance of the marine ecosystem. Their ability to hunt even the giants helps ensure that no single species can dominate, preserving the delicate web of life beneath the waves. From the icy waters of the Antarctic to the warm currents of the tropics, the killer whale reigns supreme. They are a species defined by a powerful combination, the fierce, unforgiving force of a predator, and a level of intelligence and social complexity that rivals our own. They are strategists' teachers, and a living testament to the power of family. The hunts for blue whales and whale sharks are more than just predation. They are the ultimate expression of the orca's mastery over its domain. They show us that in the ocean, size isn't everything. Intelligence, strategy, and teamwork can overcome any challenge. They are the living, breathing proof that Orsonus Orca has earned its title as the ocean's apex predator. Thanks for joining us for this look into the world of orcas. If you want to see more incredible stories from the animal kingdom, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for our next adventure.